Hey guys, I was just about to hop into a quick little video editing project and I thought, let me take the opportunity to show you one of my favorite pieces of software ever. It's called ReCut and it has literally saved me hours on my content creation workflow. If you make videos or even podcasts, it works with audio too, this could be a game changer. I cannot recommend it enough. So let's cut to the chase and jump into a tour of ReCut. You can download ReCut from GetReCut.com and let's just take a minute to admire how beautiful and simply and efficiently this presents what it does. Video and podcast editing can be way less tedious. ReCut removes the pauses, so this turns into this. And I'll tell you what, they make good on their value proposition. Let's open up ReCut and I'm going to drag in a file and oh, the cleverness of me, I'm going to use the intro to the very video that you are watching. And you will see right away, there are some pink parts here. These are the pauses that ReCut has identified and will remove automatically. Now you have a few settings here. You can change the duration of the silences. You can add a little bit of padding if you don't want it to be so aggressive. You can also remove blips. So even if there is sound, if it's just a quick little blip, like less than a second, you can drag this up to a second, but let's set this back to, what was it, point 0.2. Uh, that will automatically get cut as well. So once you have locked in your settings, you can preview what it will be like. All right, now let's export it. Now you can export a solid video file, but I don't want to do that. I want to edit this a little bit more. So I'm going to export it to a Final Cut file. I use Final Cut. It also works with ScreenFlow, Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, and you can use XML files or EDL files to work with a few other video editing programs as well. I saw a tutorial on how to get the XML file to feed an iMovie project. So you can use some free software to work with this as well. But let's export for Final Cut and let's see what it looks like on the other side. The export itself is super fast. Doesn't have to render out anything. It just generates this FCP XML file and we will open that up and here is our project already cut into separate clips. This is nice, especially if you have multiple takes, you can quickly jump through them and delete the rubbish and you're left with a very clean timeline. So let's do it right now. All right, so I'm gonna remove that first take and to delete that as well. Oh, all right, and there we go. We've cut down our intro like that. So there you have it. Super simple, doesn't do much, but what it does, it does very well. And what it does saves you a ton of time. So hop over to getrecut.com and you can download it there for Mac. And now they just released a Windows version. You can download it for free and test drive it for five exports. And then after that, you can buy a license one-time purchase of $99, but I actually have a link in the description to save you a little bit of money. So take a look at that. I cannot overstate just how much time this tool has saved me. And it's not just the time it saves you having to slog through cutting out the silences and all that stuff. It speeds up the rest of the process because I feel like I have a lot more momentum and excitement going into my edits now that I kick it off with what feels like a magic trick. Just drag the video into ReCut, click export, and poof, there you go, a rabbit out of a hat. It's really fun to use. But in the words of the great Mr. Burton, don't take my word for it. You can download it and try it out for yourself. Remember, you get five free exports. So bring a stopwatch, see how much time you save. Let me know what you're working on and subscribe because I have a lot more helpful tools and tips for you coming your way. I'll see you in the next one.